if you find the content relevant then do like share and subscribe to the channel also hit the bell button to get a regular notification also do share your experiences and any suggestion that you have in the comment box hope you enjoy Hi, with ZAT around the corner, I'm just making a 10 days plan for ZAT exam. So what you need to do in the last 10 days that should help you with regards to your preparation for the exam. So broadly, if you look at, um, it's very difficult to replicate the ZAT questions. So the best way to prepare for ZAT would be to go to the past papers. So let's anyway go to it. So we start with the, the paper pattern, there are 26 questions of verbal and logic, there are 21 questions of decision making and 28 questions of content DI. Apart from that, you have a separate 25 question which is there for GK. I'll come up with a separate video on the strategy of how to write a paper. This video is just focused on the preparation. So mocks. So you ideally write two to three mocks just to finalize the strategy. So if you have not written too many mocks before, maybe you can write three or four mocks. Or if you have written enough mocks before, then maybe two mocks is sufficient. I mean, it is not a speed-based test where you have to write too many mocks. When there's a speed-based test like SNAP, CD, etc. You have to write a lot of mocks to get used to that speed. In such examination, uh, like Zakat and Zat, strategy becomes more important. So you write a mock for focusing on strategy to try to finalize the strategy. Right? So write two or three mocks just to finalize the strategy. Apart from the mocks, what is important is approximately 1 or 40 minutes daily for verbal. Verbal becomes quite important for Zat exam. So poem, just 10 minutes. Uh, normally you have this poem, you can refer to this poemhunter.com and refer to some of the poems that have come in the exam uh, or just some poems just to get used to that whole language of the poem as such. Reading one hour, reading should take most of your time. Normally to see that the more you read closer to the exam, the better it is for the verbal section. Apart from that, critical listening is a good part of that. So 15 minutes on critical listening and 15 minutes on any exercise on parajambles, grammar, etc. I mean, you can club it like I'll do half an hour on one day all critical listening, half an hour on second day, all parajambles grammar or you can divide every day into 15-15 minutes, the way you are comfortable. But yeah, half an hour of verbal exercises and every time when you solve the exercise, write down whatever mistakes you commit in a book so that you can revise it again. So all this critical listening and parajambles are to be solved using different exercises that comes in the books. DM is a new so spend one and a half hours daily just to get comfortable with the section. Okay. Ideally, solve it from the past ZAT papers which are there because again I said DM is very difficult to replicate and if you look at last year when the paper was done, most of the coaching classes which had come out with the answers were completely wrong. I mean they revise the answers when the ZAT release the official answers but uh, in that case it's very difficult for even the coaching class to actually replicate the ideas of ZAT, idea of XLRI. So it automatically makes sense to look at the past ZAT papers and look at it. Okay. Revise them. I mean, if you have solved it once, then go revise them, find out why the logic is, try to understand the logic, what accelerate things, etc. Apart from that, you can solve, if you don't have any other source to solve more, pick up questions in the mocks and solve it. That is the third source of preparation as far as DM is concerned. So, approximately 1.5 hours daily just for preparing for DM, important. Con 1 to 2 hours, depending on how much, if you have not solved too much of con before, can spend 2 hours. If you solved enough of con before, maybe 1 hour depending on how much you have. So, past papers are again good source for CONT and DI questions. Again, difficult to replicate. But CONT and ZAT is similar to CAT. So, if you don't have too many questions, you can go for uh, CONT uh, from, to go to a ZAT material, CAT material. But for that, look at the topics that come in the ZAT. ZAT is a little different type of topics that come in the exam. Maybe you're a little bit filled with, uh, you know, the third section eight angle or right angle triangle or something like that. Look at the type of questions that come in the exam in the ZAT examination and maybe you can solve similar questions that are there in the CAT material. That could help. Okay, practice calculations important for DI as well as CONT. I mean a little bit of calculation being in touch before the exam helps. And yeah, once you know the topics, you can go about trying to pick up the questions from the CAT material. So this is the broad area of how to prepare before the examination. Just try to follow this. Apart from that two or three mocks, if you give yourself four to five hours every day, I think that should suffice as far as that preparation is concerned. 
you can give more if you feel that you require extra preparation you can do that thank you